It's time for your daily sports rush from Sports Knot for August 14, 2024. Buckle up, sports junkies. It's Scott Branson here with your daily dose of chaos on the daily sports rush from Sports Knot. Today, we have a torn up QB, a rookie in cuffs, a slugger on fire, and an Irishman ghosting the octagon. So let's jump headfirst into this madness. The Vikings' shiny new quarterback, J.J. McCarthy, is out with a torn meniscus in his right knee. That's right, the rookie who was supposed to be the future of the franchise just hit a massive roadblock. After a pretty solid debut, 11 for 17 for 188 yards and two touchdowns, he's now sidelined. And the cherry on top, we don't even know if he'll be back this season. Coach O'Connell is staying optimistic, but let's be real, Vikings fans, this is a gut punch. McCarthy tried to keep the vibe positive with some fancy Latin on social media, but Vikings Nation is probably feeling more amore fate than amore victory. Right now, Sam Darnold is now locked in as a starter with Nick Mullins backing him up. It's a wait-and-see situation, but we all know that could mean anything. Back in the month to back next season, you just don't know. And just when you thought the NFL could take a break from the police blotter, think again. Brown's rookie defensive tackle Mike Hall Jr. decided to make headlines for all the wrong reasons. Arrested on a domestic violence charge after an altercation with his fiance. This second round pick from Ohio State is now the latest addition to the Browns off the field drama list. Reports say he threatened her with a gun during a heated argument. The Browns are keeping their lips sealed, gathering info while Hall is out on bond. Browns fans, you might want to keep that paper bag hand. In baseball news, Juan Soto decided to have himself a night. The Yankee slugger belted not one, not two, but three home runs in a single game. That's right, Soto finally pulled off the hat trick in a 4-1 win against the White Sox. With those dingers, Soto sitting at 33 homers this season, closing in on his career high of 35. And with 41 games left, it's pretty much a lock he'll smash that record. Oh, and as far as Aaron Judge, he's still stuck at 299 waiting for that milestone 300th homer. But last night, it was all about Soto, who showed everyone why he's the guy to watch as he heads into free agency. Yankees fans, buckle up. It's going to be wild. And finally, we wrap up with the notorious one, Conor McGregor. Dana White dropped the bomb that McGregor won't be fighting in 2024, despite all that buzz around a December matchup with Michael Chandler. So if you were holding out hope to see McGregor in the octagon this year, sorry, folks, it's not happening. Since that historic 2016 win to hold two UFC titles, McGregor's been on a rough 1-3 and three streak in the UFC with more drama outside the ring than inside. But hey, he still wants to fight, just not anytime soon. Chandler's been on the shelf waiting for this fight, but it looks like he'll have to wait a little longer. Maybe 2025 will be the year? Don't hold your breath. All right, that's it for today's Sports Rush from Sports Knot. Keep it locked here on Sports Knot for all your sports news with a little bit of fun and personality too anyway we will see everybody back here tomorrow take care